ACF options pages are one of those things that can seem slightly intimidating, or you probably can't envision use cases until you see it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm using ACF options pages in my starter site to let clients or my team members control whole pieces of functionality on the site without having to make drastic changes. We're gonna do that with an ACF options page, and we're gonna do that with the free block visibility plugin. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first of all, what is an ACF options page? It is exactly what you're looking on your screen here, which is the ability for you to add any piece of functionality to a new portion in your admin dashboard here. And just like any ACF field, you can attach it to this options page and do pretty much anything. So here in this starter site that I have for my monthly website clients, uh, which is specifically for homeowners associations and uh, condominium associations, that kind of thing, the admins could come in here and they can set the logo and the site favicon, favicon from this dashboard here. And then I've created a couple of other pieces of functionality because for these clients, they generally have a pretty static list of all the things that they need, but we may not need all those pieces of functionality on every site. But of course, we don't wanna build those from the ground up. So what I've done here is create what I'm referring to as modules of the site, like our document library and things like registration from the front end. And what I wanna do is give my clients the ability to come in and turn on and off those features as needed, or probably more specifically because they'll be on a monthly retainer with us. If they say, can you please disable registration? We don't wanna to have to go set a bunch of conditions and hide things. Instead, we can come right in here to our options page and do that. So real quick, we have this registration page, and this is actually the real registration page that you, know, you would use. Obviously, this is an unstyled website, but the idea is that they're gonna fill this out, and this is just a gravity form that creates the user in the back end, and then the admins get their email to come approve and that kind of thing. But it's actually fairly common, especially when these HOA websites go live, that the admins want to leave this registration open for a couple weeks or maybe a few months to get everybody on board. And then after that, there's really no reason to leave this registration open. They'll sometimes get spam signups and just create a little bit more of an administrative burden. So if I wanted to disable this, I'd have to go you know, edit the page and we'd have to delete some blocks or create conditions or that kind of thing. So that's not what we wanna do. What I did was create a tab here in my ACF options page that somewhat perhaps confusingly is called options. Maybe I need to rename that. Uh, more like maybe settings or controls or something like that. But you can see here, I'm telling my client, do you want to allow signups, yes or no? That's pretty straightforward. And it just tells them, you know, whether to allow memberships to sign up from the front end registration page. If no, you must manually register new members. So what we have right now is this allow signup set to yes. And of course we just saw that. So let's switch it to no. We'll update our options page here. And then on the front end, when we go refresh the registration page, you can see this switches and it says registration is currently closed. So this is a benefit both from you know my team's administrative side, as well as the client. Some of them do want to get in the back end. Many of them do actually add their own documents themselves and that kind of thing. So we wanna be able to give them the ability to manipulate their site like this. But I also don't want to just wipe out this functionality. I want this all to exist on my starter site. So then when I clone it, we just just either go toggle it on or off. So how does this actually work? Well, some page builders and plugins that allow you to work with dynamic data, specifically with ACF, don't often have the ability to look at fields that are on an ACF options page. There's one little addition to the code that sometimes these plugins cannot work with, but in our case here, block visibility does allow you to look at fields on an options page, which is amazing. Block visibility lets you dynamically show and hide blocks based on a variety of conditions. So whether you're using any page builder, if you're using a block inside of Gutenberg, you can use block visibility. This same idea would work in something like Bricks or Oxygen. It's of course just going to be a little bit different. I also wanted to quickly bring your attention to the join button here on the channel. If you click that, it's just $5 a month to subscribe. You'll now get videos a week early. And of course you help support me here on the channel, which I greatly appreciate. So either consider joining or just subscribing if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this is actually configured. So normally in ACF, you're gonna be working with field groups, but what we wanna do first is actually create an options page, which is built into ACF. In the past, you had to use custom code or an additional plugin, but now it's built in natively to the pro version of ACF. So on this options page, you can see I have one that I called site settings, and there's really no, not a whole lot for you to do here. Just give it a name and that's about it. You can change the menu icon if you want, but that's basically all you have to do. 
Then if we go to our field group here, you can see I have one called customize your site. And then I have my, you know, couple of options here that we just looked at. And for my location rule, I said options page is equal to site settings, which of course is the options page I just showed you. And once you've done that, you've added your fields and your options page, that's when you now have these tabs, for instance, and all of these fields that I've added to the site. Now, it's really common for people to do things like add their phone number and email and that kind of thing. So if clients need to come through and change that kind of thing, you can do it once from a field and it reflects all over your site. There's a variety of other ways to do that. So I often don't find myself doing it. That sort of thing I typically put in templates, but something like this with options controls where you could, you know, kind of module lower eyes your whole site, turn features on and off, or do things like, you know, change logos. If you wanna give your client the ability to do that can certainly be done. Okay, so now you understand the field group and the options page, but how does it actually work in conjunction with elements on the page? So if I edit my page here, you can see I have two containers. I'm gonna go ahead and select the open registration container here and in my sidebar, I'm going to scroll down until I get to the visibility tab. What you wanna do is make sure that you have the integration for advanced custom fields turned on. And when you do that, you're presented with this rule set button. Now this is going to show all of the ACF fields available on your site. It's going to look at all of these that are on the options page, which is exactly what we need. So in this case, what we're looking at is the field option that's called allow signups. So what I wanna do is say select condition, value is equal to, and we need to say yes. Now there's one more piece here. You can see that this additional option says this field is associated with the current post, current user, or an options page. Current post is not going to work because that ACF field is attached to our options page and not the specific post. So to make this work, make sure you go ahead and select is associated with an options page, and now it will work. The same thing is true on this registration closed, except you can see that it says allow signups, value is equal to no. Again, make sure that the options page is selected, and when we update, the functionality is still gonna work exactly as intended. We could go turn signups back on, and when we refresh, there we go. Our new member registration block is shown and the other one is hidden because of course that complies with our condition. So this is just one way out of many that you can use an ACF options page for. Things like phone numbers and emails like I mentioned are relatively basic and you'll see examples of those elsewhere. But I wanted to show you something highly specific that I'm doing in the real world and that's exactly what you just saw here in this video. I hope you liked this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and otherwise I'll look forward to seeing you in a future video.